Hello everybody, this is Linda with Linda's Babies. And I thought I'd come on today and show you my beautiful Esme by Laura Lee Eagles. This baby was a doll that I bought back about three years ago. I bought her for myself for Christmas, but she was not very well reborn and I knew it at the time. Um, it's the only reason that I could afford her. I never thought I'd own an Esme by Laura Lee Eagles. But um, I found one on eBay that was selling pretty inexpensively because it wasn't painted well. So I bought her with the intentions of redoing her. Now it's taken me a long time to get around to doing it. It's been about three years, but now um, I have done it. I completely repainted her and re-reborn her. And now she's the way that I like her. She doesn't have any eyelashes yet or hair because I have to wait until I can afford to get some nice, really nice mohair. Um, so for right now, she's bald and she doesn't have eyelashes. So, but here she is. And I just wanted to share her with you while the light was fairly decently good. She has absolutely gorgeous details as far as the sculpt, Laura Lee Eagles did an awesome job sculpting this, this baby. And I, for the first time in my life, I did the little half moons. I've never done them before. I've always tipped fingernails, but never did the half moons. But her fingernails were, were big and sculpted nicely, so I thought I'd try it, and it turned out okay. She has veining. I don't know if you can see it there, but she has beautiful veining and modeling, and um, I love her expressive little hands. There she is. And here's her little legs. And I'll take off her booty so you can see her little foot. I didn't do the half moons on the toes, of course, because I don't think they have them on their toes. I worked in a newborn nursery for many years, and I don't ever remember seeing half moons on newborn babies' fingernails, ever. But um, people like it, so I did it. But anyway, not on her toes. But here's the details of her little feet. The bottom of her foot is all blushed. She's on a beautiful doe suede cloth body. She's weighted. She probably weighs about six, between six and seven pounds. She's just a beautiful, beautiful baby. And there's the detailing of her head. She had beautiful, she has beautiful glass eyes. And the eye color is kind of a greenish color. I am not a fan of green eyes on newborn babies because they just don't have them. Caucasian babies are born with blue eyes, dark blue eyes. That's the only color they come in. However, ethnic babies such as African American, Chinese, um, Korean, um, Mexican, and a lot of others, they are born with brown eyes. But there's no newborn on earth that I know of that is born with green eyes. However, they, these green eyes are not green green. They're kind of a grayish color. And I didn't want to change out her eyes because they're beautiful glass eyes. They look like Lasha glass eyes. And I didn't want to change them out, especially because they're broken in the back and they're sharp. And I didn't want to cut myself trying to get these eyes out. And I couldn't afford to buy another pair to put in. So I've kept them. But to me, they look more of a grayish color. And I set them. I did reset them so that they're side glancing because I like that look on a newborn baby. And another new thing that I tried is using a flesh color and just bringing it out along the inner edges of the lip to make it look like it's um, sucking blisters. And it, it turned out really cute. I like the look. And these are things that I've never tried before, but they came out really cute. 
She has just a hint of light brown eyebrows. I just painted them very, very lightly. You almost can't even see them, but it's just a hint of eyebrows because most newborns don't have heavy eyebrows. So there she is. The little outfit she has on was a little two-piece outfit that I got on a Sheila Michael doll years ago, and I saved it when I sold the doll because I loved it. It's white and it has this gorgeous little pink and green embroidery of flowers along the edges of the little jacket. And on the bottom, on the rear end of the little romper, it's embroidered the back end of a little bunny and the same flowers. And I thought it looked so cute on her, so I decided to put it on her. And it looks really nice. We're having some beautiful weather here in Maine. Finally, it is up to 80 degrees. I've had to have my air conditioner on because I have breathing problems. So I have to um, have an air conditioner when it gets that hot and humid. But we are finally getting into summer weather. It has taken forever, it seems like. But anyway, and when I found this cute little pacifier, I believe it's an Ulubulu. And it, I found it at um, TJ Maxx. It came with another one in it. I don't remember what the other one looked like, but anyway, I like this for her. It's a little bunny, and it matches a little bunny on her butt. And she has a cute little pacifier clip and little white crocheted booties and a little pink headband, one of those nylon type headbands. I like them because they fit really well. So there she is. I'm so thrilled with my Esme. I'm so thrilled with the way she turned out and the way she looks. I just love her and I never thought I'd be able to afford um, an Esme by Laura Lee Eagles and here she is. I can't remember if I got her COA with her or not. I have to look through my COAs and see if I did get one with her. But because she was secondhand and so inexpensive, I kind of doubt I did. But the Lorley Eagles dolls, as far as I know, Esme was never copied by China. So she is an original. So thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye.